Family Time on the Fringe, written by Christina Curtin, June 16, 2024. I took the brew to the Tampa Fringe Fest yesterday. I never heard of it before, but I got an email somehow and was intrigued. It was inside and not that expensive. Two must-haves right now because it's hot and we are trying to be money conscious, which is so fucking hard with four daughters with mouths that want to eat and bodies that want clothing. Damn humans. Anyways, if you are like me and never heard of the Fringe Fest, it's for local performers whose acts haven't found a home yet. They operate on the Fringe circuit until they get a spot on the main stages, if that's their goal. The event is in Ebor, which is a cool balance of indie vibes mixed with a fear of getting shot. I like it though, it has character. And all the roosters running around freely like stray dogs gave me plenty of opportunities to make cock jokes. Fun fact, you can adopt a cock in Ivor. Seeing local performers isn't something we do often, especially acting because my kids aren't, quote, theater kids. For some reason, they think theater kids are strange. And yeah, I guess they are a little strange, but that's what makes them cool. If we were all the same, that'd be pretty fucking boring. I was in musicals and plays when I was younger, and the theater kids were funny and some of the kindest people I've met. I can't force my kids to feel the same way as me, but I can force them to broaden their life experiences. One of the benefits of being a parent is forcing them to do things, right? So to the fringe we went. We saw three shows, one about the experience of a former big top clown, a family of acrobats, and an improv prop show. Vince also loves this type of shit, so he was down. If you don't know, he was also in musicals and even took an improv class a couple years ago. He loves the stage which I guess isn't really that surprising because he is an attention whore after all. Gianna was along for the ride and really only liked the acrobats, but I did manage to mom pressure Scar into volunteering for the prop show. I think she enjoyed that. She didn't bitch too much about it, and I'm pretty sure I saw a smile sneak across her normal resting bitch face face. While the older two grudgingly attended, Evie was here for it. Child volunteered for everything and nailed it on stage. I was a little apprehensive when a former circus clown handed her a French baguette and asked her, what else could this be besides a loaf of bread? My gut sank. She's going to say penis, isn't she? All of these penis references are going to come back to haunt me right now as my four-year-old stands in front of this kid-friendly show. But huzzah, she didn't. I gotta admit, I was relieved, but also slightly disappointed that Evie didn't say penis and hold the limp Brett in front of her like a watering can. Rating on the fringe? Four out of five stars. I'd go again. It would be cool to see some of the adult shows, and I like performers. They have a passion and aren't afraid to get weird. And I think it's good for my kids to see this.